Good morning. How are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. How are you? How do you, how do you do? Hello, good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, children. How are you today? I'm Ms. Rubina and welcome to my classroom. Let's begin with circle time. It's time for the days of the week. Days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now say along with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Now tell me what day is it today? Yesterday was Monday. So today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Now let's see the letter of the week. Letter of the week is letter F. Letter of the week is letter F. This is uppercase letter F. This is lowercase letter F. Letter F makes a sound. F. Letter F makes a sound. F. Every letter makes a sound and F says F. Every letter makes a sound and F says F. Now let's see the number of the week. Number of the week is number 6. Number of the week is number 6. Let's try counting number 6 using our fingers. 1 two, three, four, five, six. I'm holding up six fingers. Now let's see the sight word. Sight word of the week is in. Sight word of the week is in. Read along with me, in. Look here and read in, in. Good job. Now let's see the color of the week. Color of the week is purple. Color of the week is purple. Purple is a secondary color. We get purple color by mixing two primary colors, red and blue. Now let's see the pictures. Purple flower, purple bag, purple butterfly, purple eggplant, purple grapes, purple raincoat. Now say along with me. Purple flower, purple bag, purple butterfly, Purple eggplant, purple grapes, purple raincoat. Good job. Now let's see the shape of the week. Shape of the week is rhombus. Rhombus is a four-sided shape. It has four sides and four corners. All the sides of a rhombus are equal and the opposite sides are parallel. Now let's see the pictures. Rhombus-shaped kite, rhombus-shaped earrings, rhombus-shaped ring head, Rhombus shaped Christmas cookie, rhombus shaped signboard, rhombus shaped sweet. Now say along with me. Rhombus shaped kite, rhombus shaped earrings, rhombus shaped ring head, rhombus shaped Christmas cookie, rhombus shaped signboard, rhombus shaped sweet. Good job. Now let's count 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I hope you all were counting along with me. Now let's say the sounds of letters A to H. This is uppercase letter A. This is lowercase letter A. Letter A makes a sound. A. Letter A makes a sound. A. This is uppercase letter B. This is lowercase letter B. Letter B makes a sound. B. Letter B makes a sound. B. This is uppercase letter C. This is lowercase letter C. Letter C makes a sound k. Letter C makes a sound k. This is uppercase letter D. This is lowercase letter D. Letter D makes a sound d. 
Letter D makes the sound D. This is uppercase letter E. This is lowercase letter E. Letter E makes the sound E. Letter E makes the sound E. This is uppercase letter F. This is lowercase letter F. Letter F makes the sound F. Letter F makes the sound F. This is uppercase letter G. This is lowercase letter G. Letter G makes the sound G. Letter G makes the sound G. This is uppercase letter H. This is lowercase letter H. Letter H makes the sound H. Letter H makes the sound so children, today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays we learn about a new number. Today we are going to learn all about number 6. Let's go. This is number 6. The formation is down we go and make a loop. Number 6 makes a hoop. Down we go and make a loop. Number 6 makes a hoop. Now it's time to count the pictures. Let's count the owls. One, two, three, four, five, six, six owls. Now let's count the nails. One, two, three, four, five, six, six nails. Now let's count the apples. One, two, three, four, five, Six. How many apples? Six apples. I hope you all are counting along with me. Now let's count the balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many balloons? Six balloons. Now it's time to count the beads. There are some beads in the string. Let's count how many beads are there in the string. One, two, Three, four, five, six, six beads. One more time. Count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six beads in the string. Now it's time to color the petals. Color six petals. We have to color only six petals. There's a flower with many petals and we have to color only six petals. Let's do it. Now let's count how many petals I have colored. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have colored six petals. It's correct. Now let's see the formation of number six. So this is number six. Down we go and make a loop. Number six makes a hoop. Down we go and make a loop. Number six makes a hoop. Down we go and make a loop. Number six makes a hoop. Now it's time to write number six. I'm going to write number six in the boxes. You can quickly grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a piece of chalk and a slate and write along with me. Down we go and make a loop. Number six makes a hoop down we go and make a loop number six makes a hoop down we go and make a loop number six makes a hoop say the formation while writing down we go and make a loop number six makes a hoop 
down we go and make a loop number six makes a hoop down we go and make a loop number six makes a hoop it's done i hope you all learned how to write number six and you will practice at home if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel see you tomorrow with a new video until then goodbye